Yeah, I don't know neither, Aggie. I don't know neither. All right, good morning. What's going on with you guys? It's Monday morning about 9-11 as I begin this video. You guys will probably be seeing this video today. And this is the second time that I'm attempting to film, well, the same damn video. You guys have not seen or heard anything about this, maybe just a little bit. And what this is in relation to is, of course, the flip house. Now, when I filmed about this the very first time, I think I filmed about this Friday morning, and I was super depressed. Super depressed, super in my feelings, super emo. I'm not going to be that way today. Don't get me wrong, I'm still depressed about this situation. It's a really f***ed up situation, pardon my French. But it is what it is. And unfortunately... All I can do is try to make this situation right. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, uh, here is the premise of it right here. We finished the flip house. The flip house is done. We were ready to be on the market this week. At least I thought we were. And on the same day that we finished the flip house, that was Thursday, we realized and we were made aware that we were nowhere near done. Now I want to recap just a little bit and tell you guys that the last video you guys saw about the flip house was from Thursday when we were wrapping things up. And you guys might remember me talking about Thursday morning started off kind of weird. I watched a bird fall out of the sky and land on my wife's vehicle and I thought that that was some sort of a sign of bad things to come. Then fast forward to the video and the end of the video, it ended pretty like awkwardly. You could definitely tell something was going on. I might have even uh, brushed at it just a little bit, but what happened, folks, is that on Thursday, the day that we were wrapping up the flip house, I was literally standing outside putting the numbers on the house when the city showed up, and I thought they were there for that tree that they were tearing down next door, but as soon as they got out of the vehicle, I knew that they were there for me because I saw the piece of paper in the man's hand. More importantly, the color of the paper, which was red, and this guy walked right past me, right up my ramp, and duct taped right to the side of my house a stop work order due to the fact that I did all of this work up in this house with not one single permit. And that's totally my fault. Should have pulled the permits. Joe, you idiot. Why didn't you pull the permits? How could you be so stupid? Look, I've been hearing it all weekend. I know. Okay? I could... Ain't enough justification in the world. It doesn't even matter at this point because what's done is done. The city knows about all of this work. And now we got to try to make this right. What I've got printed out right here are all of the permits that I need. And it's a boatload of them. And I've got no idea, you know, what's going to happen next and how to make this situation right. There's only pretty much two options in this department and that is they come check this work right now inspect it see that everything looks fine and then you know we're able to file these permits post you know in the later stages with the work already being done but i already know that that's probably not going to happen at all and the worst case scenario is how crazy is it to think on the day that we finish the house, we got to get ready to basically tear it all down. Walls could potentially have to come down. The kitchen could potentially have to come out. That's about as bad as it could possibly get. And if that is the case, it's just what we're going to have to do. My game plan today is because the city is definitely not making this uh, very easy for me as they probably have every right to do. I got to go draw site plans from the house, list out the scope of work, cost for all of that. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff that I need to do. I've been having phone calls and phone calls and phone calls with so many people trying to, you know, see what I can possibly do to make this situation right. But I've got no idea how any of this is going to play out. I've gotten so much you know, crazy information throughout this. Now, let me go back to the fact that we didn't have no permits doing this work. And the reason why, there is no excuse for this other than, you know, a lot of people told me, Joe, don't even worry about permits. You don't need permits. This is your house. Corona season. Ain't nobody got time for no permits. People do this all the time without permits. I had people tell me this. I had businesses tell me this. 
I had a lot of people tell me this, but at the end of the day, if you're going to do any type of work like this, you better have your ducks in a row and make sure that you get permits. And it's also no stretch of the imagination to think that I'm pretty naive with all of this. Hey, I didn't really know what I was doing and listening to all the wrong advice. Well, that's nothing new with me. So here we are. Crazy enough about it. Damn. Here's a piece of paper right here. Check this out. Look. <laughs> Uh, this is old. Here's the old kitchen layout right here. You know, so I was definitely drawing plans for how this was going to work out. And that's pretty much how the kitchen ended up. I wonder if they'll let those fly as site plans. I already know that they won't. They want everything scaled and all that good stuff. So, whatever. Now, let me go ahead and address another part to all of this and that is like how the hell did this happen obviously my dumb ass putting everything out there in videos that wasn't exactly the best thing to be doing especially considering you know people are definitely not trying to see me succeed at all and maybe they were right to call the city who called the city you know somebody obviously did somebody obviously called the city was it you know, this person or that person or somebody from the comments who just doesn't like me. Whatever the case may be, I get the fact that I'm wrong, but damn, damn somebody is praying on my downfall. My wife's super upset about this, super upset with me. I'm super embarrassed by all of this. You know, on Friday we did a bobo and on that bobo, I've, I told this story. I didn't even want to really even mention any of this just yet until I began trying to get this worked out. Today... All weekend, I've been beginning to try to get this all worked out. But on the Bobo Friday, I began to mention this. And, you know, just yesterday, I uploaded a caricature drawing video. And, you know, in the comments, I see people just going in. Oh, Joe, you don't want to tell them about the fact that your house is condemned and you didn't get no permits. We're just not going to talk about that, huh? Oh, we, we're definitely going to talk about it. It's definitely going to be a video. If nothing else, let me get the views for this because I'm about to be forking out guaranteed thousands more dollars to get this situation right. But with the fact that here's where we are, you know, I'm gonna ask a question to all of you and I, I already know there's gonna be a thousand answers to this. And you know, we're just gonna have to see how it goes because I've gotten so much crazy information from real deal people over the weekend who know a lot more about this than I do. One of them being, you know, my master electrician who said that, you know, I am absolutely Hands down, no other way about it. But I'm going to ask all of you, you know, how do you think this plays out? We have done all of the work. All of the work is done. Now what? We didn't get no permits. Okay. We're going to file these permits now, showcasing the work that was done. But you can't even do that because on the permit applications, you've got to be filling that out as you, I don't know. What a crazy situation all of this has turned into. And you know what? I'm not even going to dwell on this. I'm not even mad at the person who did this to me. I deserved this. The entire time that we were doing this flip house, subconsciously I was feeling like scared. Feeling like, you know, eventually the other shoe is going to drop. What is that other shoe going to be? Think about all of the stuff that went wrong throughout the process of trying to get to where we are right now. I never knew what this other shoe was that I kept feeling was going to happen, but obviously it was this right here. Nothing else can happen at this point. I mean, worst case scenario, we are tearing the kitchen out, tearing the walls down. You can go look at everything that you want to see. That's worst case scenario. But we got to stop work order. How do we even get that ball rolling. I was absolutely wrong for this. I'm sorry. I'm embarrassed, but I got to make it right. And even being sad and depressed and in my feelings about this situation, one thing about it, I am not going to let this defeat me. It definitely had me defeated. I'm not even going to lie to you. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. So I'm a little bit beyond that now. Here we are in a situation where we did all of this work up inside of this house with no permits. Stupidest thing you could have ever done. All of the work is completed, and now the city, you know, wants these permits. And how the hell are we going to go about doing this? So it should be, a, should be an interesting little journey, to say the least. Oh, and right now I'm going to get ready to head over to the house, get some measurements, try to draw up these site plans, try to list out this scope of work for this building permit, and also try to get in contact with the woman who I've been dealing with about this situation and, you know, see where we can go from here. All right, well, 
Just another thing to add to the list of how today's probably gonna be the weather. Here's what we're dealing with right here. I think there's a tropical storm passing off the coast, so we've got a ton of rain coming through. So hopefully the rain's not gonna be so bad because I'm probably gonna have to go outside of the house to get some measurements as well. But we'll have to cross that bridge when we get there. I wanna give a real special shout out real quick before I forget to do so to Vico, who's got me rocking this NASA t-shirt. Thank you very much for that. And also to Kevin for the clipboard. Waterproof clipboard, this is definitely gonna come in handy today. I got all the permit information in there. I've got paper to be able to draw up these site plans. And I don't remember who sent me this, but thank you. Yes, probably should have read this prior to going down this rabbit hole that we've gone down, trying to flip this house. I wonder if there's a section in that book that says, hey, look, if you do anything on the internet, make sure that you got all your ducks in a row because somebody might try to sabotage you to a certain degree. Can't even be mad at that person. I did all of this to myself. I deserve this. It's almost like I was selling drugs and you found out that that's what I was doing and you called the police. Are you wrong for that? Let's get on over to this house. The rain seems to be picking up, so that's great. And let's go see what we can make happen. We gotta, we gotta try to get this ball rolling to some degree, so let's try to just do the best that we can today. Hmm. It is crazy being over here. Tell you one thing I never got a chance to show you was that they got that tree tore down. Crazy. All right, over at the house and the game plan is to draw out the plans over here. Got the tape measure. I'm gonna get some measurements. I'm gonna draw out the plans for everything that they were telling me they wanted. They wanted, you know, the layout of the house. Uh, they want a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna do my damnedest to try to start putting that together today. And I'm also over here looking at like, I don't know. It's almost, <clears throat> it makes my chest tight just thinking about, you know, where we probably are gonna end up going from here. But, to show you guys, it's pouring outside. And here's what we got right there. Crazy. They put that up on Thursday, the day that we were done over here. And how do we make this situation right? I've got no no idea how bad this is probably gonna end up being. I mean, I do got an idea, I'm just hoping that it's not that bad. And you know, I really don't wanna do what I'm getting ready to do, but I'm gonna do it anyways. You know, my wife said something to me yesterday. She was like, you know, why do people wanna see you fail so much? I don't know, people just don't like me for whatever reason. And look, I am not looking for no, no pity party sharing this with you, but I wanna share with you an email that I received yesterday, just to give you guys an idea of like how it is. So I got this email yesterday from obviously some fake email account, some email account that was probably, probably just created to send me this email, but it says, the title of it is, I got your bitch ass. You are so, been talking with the county for the last two weeks. I downloaded all of your videos and sent them to them. You are in so much shit, you cocky egomaniac. You really thought you could get away with this, mother I am far from done with you. Remember your Yelp page? Remember your Twitch getting banned? Keep putting your life out there for the internet and I will keep finding ways to f This will never end. You, your wife, your doggos, are dead. Well, that's pretty, pretty nasty. Sure. I don't even know what to say. I showed my, I showed my wife that email yesterday, and yeah. So that's that's where we're at. So 
Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start getting measurements, start trying to put together the plans for the work that we've already done up in here. And then I'm gonna make a phone call and see you know, what I can do. I've got all the permit applications and I'll just have to see where we go from here. Oh, it's funny too, the refrigerator. I bought a new fridge, haven't even had a chance to pick it up yet. Might need to return that. I got a feeling this is gonna end up being pretty costly. Like I said, I've gotten a lot of advice. I've talked to a lot of people over the weekend about all of this. There's all sorts of permits that I need. And you know, the number one thing that I believe is that this is definitely a very bad situation. Put myself in this situation and I do not recommend anybody ever doing this the way that I did. It's crazy because when we first got this house, I was at the permit office getting the stuff that I needed to be able to get the permits to do the work that we were doing. But whatever happened along the way, actually I remember it was one pretty big company that told me when they came out here to look at some work, I asked them about a permit and they said, don't even worry about it. People do this all the time without permits, yada, yada, yada. Should have never even let that fester in my head, but whatever, here we are. And now the only thing that we can do is attempt to make this situation right. I will tell you this, there is the possibility we're gonna have to tear walls down. This beautiful kitchen, or as beautiful as it could be, probably is gonna have to come out. Some, if not all of those walls are gonna have to come down right there. Man, I'm hoping that is not the case at all. So let me get to work, try to figure out what I can do here. And I'll share with you guys in a little bit what I've been able to figure out, if anything. I don't even know what time I got over here. Maybe about 10, maybe even earlier than that. I don't know. It's 11.59 right now, and let me show you what I've been working on. So, bing. Here are my site plans. And this took a hell of a long time to draw up. There's just the kitchen by itself to the bar top, or to the bar area actually where we're at right now. And then here's the entire house. Uh, new windows. I tried to label everything that we replaced, but I'm not done with this yet. They told me that they wanted this to be very clean legible, easy to read. Uh, this is not. So I ain't no CAD expert, no blueprint. You know, I don't even think I've ever really drawn blueprints, but hopefully that's going to give me something that I can work with. And we're just going to have to see how all of this goes. I'm not making this video super long. I will let you know that, you know, after I wrap this up, I'm getting ready to have a call with the city and just try to find out where we go from here. And man, I don't know. I got a couple of ideas how all of this is gonna play out, and unfortunately, none of them are good. So, I hated to have to share this with you guys. This is super embarrassing that this happened. How did we finish this house, and on the last day, the day that we were wrapping it up and we were done, the city came out here, and I was standing right there when they put those notices up. They were not very happy with me, probably got every right to not be happy with me, but it's already done, so. We just gotta see how we fix this situation. I hope it does not entail us going all the way back to the very beginning, but if it's my luck and if I've got any luck at all, it's probably the worst luck in the world that could be what ends up happening here. I wanna to apologize to all of you. I feel very dumb. I feel really dumb. I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna learn one way or another. My entire life I've had to learn the hard way and. I got a feeling I'm gonna learn the hard way right here. I'll uh, share something with you that my wife told me just a little while ago, I was on the phone with her and she said, you know, one day we're gonna be able to look back on this and just laugh about it. And I know she's right about that, but right now I'm gonna tell you, I ain't doing much laughing. I'm, you know, borderline ready to cry about this, but can't do that, just gotta get it right. And one way or another, I'm gonna end up doing that. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to do it, so. I'll keep you guys posted. Looks like we're nowhere near out of the woods yet for this first Felon Flipper series. And judging by how all of this plays out is definitely gonna play a factor into whether or not we do this again. I'll be curious to hear what all of you got to say about this. You can call me the stupidest person in the world. I deserve it and hopefully we'll get this squared away without having to destroy this house. 
that we thought was done. So we'll just have to wait and see.